Since day one, you've been messing up. A and not just the other day, when you were standing here, looking all lost and stupid. From day one, we was little auntie would take us on down to the church, and everybody in the church, they'd look at you and they'd say, look at little size, taking up the cross for Jesus. He only nine, look at that devotion for Christ. They'd look at me and they'd say, why don't you try and be more like your younger brother? I was jealous. I wanted to be just like you until auntie found you stealing money from the collection plate. Then everything turned, spun right back round, landed on me. Then I got everybody looking at me like, oh goon, if you had been a better role model for your little brother, maybe he wouldn't have acted like this. If, if I, man, I got one image of my mama in my mind and it messes with me at night. Mama, she out there standing near the water. Looking out towards the gulf, belly full of you. And mama, she holding my hand. She holding my hand tight. Us. That's all I got left. I got one picture of my mama in my mind and you in that image. You brought all, all I got left in this world. And from day one, I've been holding on to you. I've been clutching on to you. I've been staying on this side of you, the other side of you, in back of you, in front of you, anything, just as long as I could keep my grip on you. But no matter what I did, somehow you turn around and you mess up and you mess up and you're still messing up. All my life, I carry your sins on my back. You want to say something? Say something for me. Say you messed up. You messed up. You messed up. I've always wanted to be a storyteller, an actor. I grew up surrounded around, surrounded by a lot of a lot of voices, tons of people talking. I grew up in my mother's beauty salon in North New Jersey, and there was a lot of voices surrounding me all the time. I remember watching the mouths of all the adults that were around me, uh, listening to the stories of the patrons that would come in and out of my mother's shop, her customers, really listening to their stories in a, um, in a really absorbent way, you know, really wanting to take everything in. These stories, I started imitating them as a kid, imitating the voices that I heard around me. Uh, and this became sort of my foundation for the characters that I would go on to play. And even today, I guess this kind of, this childhood fascination with, with people and human beings galvanized me uh, to seek stories uh, about people who are whole, who are real, who are authentic. And that's those are the kind of people that I want to play. People who look just like the people who come from our own community, who speak just like them, who tell stories just like them. But not just people from my community, but people also from all walks of life. People whose stories reveal something about the entire scope of the human experience. So that's my goal.